Hey everybody out there on YouTube, this is Rip Fletching. I'll try to get in here. <laughs> um, so this is a, a bison or American buffalo shoulder blade. My dog's chewed on it, so it's not perfect. Um, I'll be getting some more here pretty soon to do some more testing on, but kind of wanted to uh, show you guys what these are like. And you can see how massive this is. So you're not getting through this. Um, if you shoot this, you know, you'd be shooting actually from the other direction um, on that shoulder blade. I just wanted to show how massive these bones were. And you know, it's over a half an inch or three quarters of an inch thick this away. So you have a very small window of opportunity if you plan on shooting an animal the size in the shoulder. But anyway, um, so what we're gonna shoot is out of a black swan hybrid longbow, 60 pounds. I'll be shooting a 600 grain Bishop Broadhead, this is our tool steel, S7, it's amazing stuff. And I'll be shooting a 200 grain Bishop Broadhead, also out of S7 tool steel. And um, these are on uh, VAP Victory Armor Pearson 250 spine. They shoot good off these bows, I've tuned for them. Three, three fletch. Uh, so let's uh, kind of see what happens. I'm hoping this tape will hold it. I don't know. We may have to reset and shoot again. Let's go see. For the uh, interesting, uh, none the least, I can tell you these uh, buffalo shoulder blades are just massively tough. Great, the furnace kicks on right when I'm going to shoot. <clears throat> It's kind of echoey down here, so I have to excuse the noise. <clears throat> this will be the, <clears throat> excuse me, the 600 grain Bishop Broadhead. will be first, we'll place it into the center portion of the broadhead, of the uh, shoulder blade. Smack daddy. Just shattered that out of the center. Now we're gonna go we're going to get a little bit interesting. Um, I'm going to go into a little bit more meat on this bone. These are single bevel broadheads. And hopefully, I'm going to show you how this will open this bone up. Even with a lighter poundage, uh, the black swans have a lot of energy. And um, with this bishop broadhead, they have a very steep, very aggressive turn angle. So let's check it out. Let's try to bust it where it's pretty thick. And there you go. And that is non-weight bearing. So if that animal had been standing 2,000 pounds on that scapula, you can see what it would have done. And uh, get in close here and clean that off. Zero damage to the broadhead. Just zero. Um, I don't even know. Well, I'll probably pull you around here and let you take a peek at it before we get too carried away. Look at my mess down here in my basement. It's like a science lab down here. <laughs> um, wow. Amazing penetration too. I can tell you that that arrow is way in there. So, I mean, wow. You got like 14 inches of penetration there probably. And then this is where that one smacked it, <clears throat> the 200 grain. I put it right in the meat of that. And you want to see how thick that is? That's over an inch thick. <laughs> it's massive. So, yeah, I mean, the right equipment. Let's see how that hit, just like that. You can see how that tried to split that bone. Let's see if I can get it to zoom in here a little bit. And um, you can see this S starting to form in here, and it just popped this bone open. How's that for cool? Oh, that's a great example. Um, hopefully it'll show there. You see the S cut in that? Hopefully that's showing up. Um, it's kind of tough for me to maneuver this around. But anyway, guys, that is awesome. Let's let's try um, let's try popping that one more time with this 200 grain. 
and into that knuckle portion down there. Get this uh, back on for you. Zoom it back in. Let's see. All right, let's see what happens. Let me level this out a little bit. There we go. All right, one more time. And that's with a 60 pound bow. I love these Bishop broadheads, they're so tough. They're still razor sharp after smacking bone. It's awesome. Well, let's see what happens now. We'll, we'll go down a little bit. Wow. I liked it. I say, got more of it. Yummy. Oh, man. <laughs> Look at that. Let me zoom you back out here. If I can. Whoa. Check that out. Just butchered that bone. Now, yes, there's sh three shots in there, but that's the nature and look how far it busted it apart. That is the nature of a single bell broadhead. That's what it wants to do. And if you'll notice, let me move this tape out of the way. It busted all the way into, all the way through the bone. So all the way into the knuckle at the very bottom. It's just the cartilage holding it down at the bottom. <clears throat> so this is not a green uh, shoulder blade, so it's not like brand new, but it's also not real old. I mean, um, it's been out in the yard. It's well, you can see kind of the blood in it here still. So, just to let you know, I just had my dog chewing on it, so it's kind of roughed up around the edges. All right, I hope you enjoyed that, and uh, we'll do some more testing. But that's the Bishop Broadhead, and off these Black Swan bows, they are sufficient. All right, catch you later.